Hi guys. So I realized the other day um, that my kids are no longer really that little. I have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old and and they're just so independent now and I just I miss them being little. I don't I don't know why it just struck me the other day that they're not they're not little anymore. They're not babies. So I just wanted to share some of their favorite storybooks that we read um, that I realized that we hadn't read in a long time and that was just another thing that brought the realization that my babies are no longer my babies. So I want to share what they really enjoyed in particular um, up to about, I don't know, four years old and this goes for both of them. And so I'm just going to get started and share with you what were our favorite young children's books. Now one of the main ones that we all really enjoyed, but they asked me to read a lot of, and that goes for both of them, was Make Way for Ducklings by Robert McCloskey. And this is just a classic storybook. I think every shelf needs this for their children's library. Uh, despite the illustrations being pretty not colorful, I mean, the ki kids really seem to enjoy this story. Mine did. Mine really enjoyed it. Uh, and it's just about a family of ducks that they decide to raise their babies in the wrong place, basically. And they need to go on a little journey and and get to a more appropriate spot for their babies. And it was a pretty lengthy read for me um, when they were younger. Because uh, they usually didn't like very long stories. But as you can see, there's quite a few words per page. And they would just sit and listen to this story and I would get asked to read it several nights a week. So it kind of got old for me but they loved it. It's a classic and yeah they just really enjoyed that. The next one that was a huge favorite was The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. <sighs> I really enjoyed reading this one in particular. Uh, not that I hate any of the ones that I'm going to show you. I didn't hate to read them or anything. Well, maybe one. Um, again, this was one that both of my children really enjoyed. And again, the illustrations are not super colorful. They're not all in your face. Um, very simple, just black and white. But the kids, both of them, really, again, loved the pictures and the story. And I love Ferdinand. I just love him in particular. Uh... And if you aren't familiar with Ferdinand, which, and it's another classic that I think everyone should have for their shelf. Just a personal opinion. Um, but it's about a bull who gets picked to go bullfighting. And, and he just won't. He won't, he won't fight. He just wants to sit and smell the flowers. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a really sweet story. And both of my girls really enjoy, enjoyed Ferdinand. And they don't ask me to read it anymore. So. The next one is The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper. And I think pretty much everyone is familiar with this story. It's the little engine that just could, uh, that believed in itself and has the classic line, um, was it, I think I can, I think I can at the end here. Uh. And then at the end, I thought I could, I thought I could. And it's just a cute little story of perseverance and and whatnot. And again, another classic children's story. You can't really go wrong with these. You think that maybe it being 2017, um, there's so many newer kids books out there that are great quality. But you can really fall back on these classics. And, and kids love them. The next one is... Three Little Kittens by Jerry Pinkney. And again, one that's probably going to be mostly familiar to a lot of people. And my kids ask me to read all the time. Um, this one, I, I really like the illustrations. They're just beautiful in this particular book. I'm sure there's different versions of the Three Little Kittens. And it's just a very simple little story about three little kittens who lost their mittens. And then they began to cry. 
and then they eat pie and then they find their mittens and their mom is just like you silly little kittens and it's just sweet and cute and and both of my kids loved it I keep saying both of my kids but now that I'm looking at this stack um, both of them pretty much love them all so the next one that I had to read a lot of which got kind of tiresome for me and no no book list like this can be complete without a Dr. Seuss, right? It's I Wish That I Had Duck Feet by Dr. Seuss. Uh, my kids thought that this book was particularly funny because it's all about a boy who thinks about the different parts he would like to have and what he could do with them and whatnot. Um, having a whale spout and a tiger's tail and things like that and at the end he just wishes he could be me he's like I just uh, and so I think there's some things I do not wish to be and that is why I think that I just wish to be like me so it's a nice little message and I had to read this a lot and <sighs> thankfully when you're reading Dr. Seuss for some reason the rhymes tend to make it go faster I don't know it doesn't seem as hard to read <sighs> Another one that my kids loved, which, whew, I read this so many times, but it was sort of fun to read at the same time, is Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus um, by Mo Willems. And I don't know. I think this is a pretty popular book. I think a lot of people with kids especially are familiar with it. But what kids seem to like about this book is, um, or at least mine did, is this pigeon is just crazy. He wants to ride or drive this bus and he keeps trying to ask the reader, you know, come on, just let me, you know, drive the bus. And the kids um, are supposed to respond and be like, no, no, no. And so it's kind of like an argument between your kids and this crazy pigeon. And my, my kid's favorite part, every single time they bust out la uh, laughing, is this part when he goes crazy. And he says, let me drive the bus. It's just so cute and funny. And they, so many laughs with this book. They never got tired of it. <clears throat> Another one that my kids love, um, loved was I Know a Wee Piggy. And this is the main one out of the stack that I just got so tired of reading. Because it's just very repetitive. And by the end, it's about a pig that... Um, wins a state fair ribbon um, but it's very very repetitive and by the end you're saying all these things it's like a build-up story and then you're saying all the things that he or she said um, in the previous page I don't know <sighs> but my kids love it so I'm sure a lot of other kids w would too it's very colorful you know, one of those really colorful type books. And I don't know. They just loved it. I don't have much to say about this one. I This was a mystery to me. I don't know. They love that book. So some other people's kids might like it too. The last book that they really, really enjoyed and got a lot of use out of was uh, Blueberries for Sal by Robert McCloskey. And as you can tell, our version is rather torn the pages are falling out and uh, again another classic we have probably I mean well over a hundred children's books and the favorite ones that my kids would always reach for are these classics and I didn't push it on them I didn't I would never pushed books on them I would usually read um, what they want me to read but as you can see another book where not full of color uh, very beautiful but simple illustrations. I mean, I might get a new version and, and frame some of these. They're just gorgeous. And uh, it's just about Sal going to pick some blueberries. And then there's some bears in there. And I don't know. If you aren't familiar with it, just get the book and <laughs> read it. Because, uh, again, just another one of those classics that the kids love. I don't know. So that's it. That's all I could really find um, that I, 
I recall being super big favorites that I've read so many times when my kids were younger. They aren't reaching for them anymore and it makes me kind of sad, but oh well. I just wanted to share that with you guys and if you need book suggestions, especially if you're reading to some kids or you have kids and you need book ideas, that was a pretty good stack. My kids love them. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and that you enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon.